Good morning, Tamina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In today's video, we will see the explanation of the concept is sketching graphs of cubic polynomials and their moduli. This topic covers under the heading of equations, inequalities and graphs. And it is a part of the syllabus of O level additional mathematics. You can see here on my website address that I have put down all the uh, under the heading of challenging question, right? If you go there, I have put down all the headings of the topics here. If you click on any, you will find the videos attached in it. Similarly, on my blog site, I have put down all the topics and videos here. Very easy to access, understand and revise. So let's come to the question. Now, in this video, we have covered the concept of this point. In the previous videos, we have seen the explanation of these question. You can go to the link I am giving below in the description and reach there. So let's see the concept of this point. Now, because it is a cubic inequalities, you need to recall that for cubic curves, the curve shape is like this. If the constant of x cube is positive. So if you're writing a x cube plus b x square plus cx plus d or you are writing in the factorized form so the coefficient here right if it is positive then the shape of the cubic curve will be like this this is very important to understand and if k is negative then the shape of the curve will be like this because you need to understand how to sketch the graph and if graph is given to you then how to answer from that graph okay so let's see here so there are two parts in this question is sketch the graph of this function. Now, if we see here, it is given in the factorized form. Now for sketching, we need three things, uh, two things very important, y-intercept and x-intercept and the shape of the curve. So if you multiply 2x by minus x, it will be minus 2x square, right? And if you multiply by x, it will be minus 2x cubed. So this immediately tells you that the shape of the curve will be like this because the coefficient of x cube is minus. So without doing anything, just by looking at the factors, you can easily recall or imagine the shape of the curve. We will handle part B later. So first of all, we will see the y-intercept. And you know, for x and y graph, x-axis and y-axis, the y-intercept is the point where x is 0. So if you put x0 in all these three factors, you get minus 2. It means curve will pass through minus 2. Now for x-intercept, uh, sorry, y-intercept, you have written the point here, 0, comma minus 2. Now for x-intercept, you put y0 because any point on the x-axis will have y-coordinate 0. So if you put y0, then this, these three factors will give you values of x as minus half, 2, and minus 1. So from here, you will have point half comma 0, 2 comma 0, minus 1 comma 0. Now, once you have these points, x-intercept and y-intercept, you can mark it on the graph. See here, it, it is, you know, not drawn on the graph paper, it is drawn on the plain paper. So you just need points. So I have marked here minus 2, these points, and using a scale, you will keep the sensible distance. Do not take, for example, 1 here, and in this case, 2 here. No, then your shape will be out. So try to make it a sensible sketch. Use your ruler, not very precise, but to some extent. Okay. Now, once you have marked these x-intercept, minus 1, half, and 2, and minus 2 on the y-axis, now you just have to give the shape to it, okay? Because it was a cubic and we knew the shape will be like this. Now, you see it is intercepting at three points. Sometimes the shape of the curve may be like this. So, we will see different type of equation in which case it happens like this or in some extreme cases maybe like this also. So, we will see these two, three, uh, I mean, three types of sketches, how and which type of equations give us those. So right now we are doing the simple one, okay, because we are getting three roots. So shape of the curve will be like this. 
Now, what is the meaning of this? Because um, understanding mathematical language is extremely important. If you see here, if you keep increasing the value of x here, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, what will happen? This curve will keep increasing here in this direction. So as x is become smaller and smaller, the value of y is increasing in the positive direction. So this is the meaning of this line. As x approaches to minus infinity, mean this side, the value of y is increasing towards positive infinity. Similarly, if you see first this point, x approaches plus infinity, mean if you increase the values of x to this side, 3, 4, 5, 6, 100, 200, this graph will keep increasing like this, decreasing rather, right? And here, the negative values of y, the magnitude will increase. And that's why it is written, y is less than, I mean, sorry, approaches toward minus infinity. It is not asked, but in case if it is asked, you should be able to handle. Okay, now, so we have sketched the graph. What is the second part of the question is saying? So first part is saying sketching we have done. And in sketching, we have highlighted y-intercept and x-intercept and shape. Now we have to sketch the same curve, but with modulus symbol. Now, do you remember what happened in the modulus symbol? It's something very simple. This is the graph you have sketched. In the modulus function, all the negative values of y, negative values of y mean the part of the curve which is below the x-axis. It will be reflected in the x-axis. So this part will reflect it in the x, oops, sorry, in the x-axis. Similarly, this part will be reflected in the x-axis here. Yeah. So I will show you here the sketch. See here, this below part is reflected here. Now it is passing through 2 because it was passing through minus 2 here. And this below part is reflected here. So second part is basically the understanding. So you have sketched the graph here. If question says, what is the range? Range mean values of y for this curve. So what will you say? The smallest value of y is zero and the largest is plus infinity. So you can say the range is greater than or equals to zero, less than or equals to infinity, or you can say y is greater than or equals to zero, right? So usually it is written like this, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. Please share it and uh, with your friends and press like and subscribe.